Hello my friends, it's me, Violetta, and this is my Vivi. She went today to the vet. She is a little bit on the shaky side. And big surprise, I went to the vet. They phoned me yesterday in the evening, come at so and so, so 20 minutes later than I had appointment. And we don't want you to wait it's inside. Please call when you will come. I call, the door came to the door and she came to my car. She took Vivi and she said, soon you will be call again to, to pay for the, res for, for the service. So they didn't even let me in. That's the new situation. We close our store, so it's we don't have too many cases. Well, not too many. It's 150 in whole Alberta, but in our area it's three cases, and in Edmonton one person died. But it will go much higher probably because that's what's going on everywhere. So. Yes, I would like to share with other Canadians, because I'm from Alberta Red Deer, that pharmacy, the, usually Superstore has that pharmacy, but uh, Lablat is going to do service for free for someone who is sick. They will be delivering, they are delivering the medication home. And if someone wants to if someone will feel not comfortable to go to the pharmacy, they will do it for, for free. So that's good. You want to go to the DF, yes, of course. No, she's going under the table. And in the last video, I said that anti-malarial medication in Poland was useful and in China to, to treat the coronavirus and now they are using the trumbo saying today that it will be i will post in the morning this video because the last video i tried to post and it took me three attempts the first one was three hours and by the time it was supposed to be downloaded it was stuck so the second time another three hours they said i was going and i saw that the same thing is going on by the third time somehow i was lucky so i'm not trying to have too long so at least i was saying this before american government canada doesn't say anything about this uh, way of treating so probably they will be following the other countries as well and last night i thought about i asked my spirit guy and he gave me an uh, and my angel if they can give me some idea how can i help others my people i call you my people and as an answer, I saw an old lady with a cane and with the grocery bag. And she has a mask, the same flowery color as the grocery bag. So, oh, so you want me to tell people that they can make your, their own masks. I know one lady told me that she bought specific material for, for the masks. But I think we probably create some, we can find some fabrics that will be good enough to, to just protect for some protection when you are going shopping. And I know a lot of my viewer, because I'm doing, I was asking whoever had a bit, uh, reading with me, I'm asking always, where are you from and how old are you? So I know most of my people are ladies age 50 something to 70 something. So a lot of those, those ladies have time if you can sew a mask, I will give you the measurements. 
so this way this way it's seven inches this way is six and a half but you can put probably more than six and a half so you can hide under the and then the strings but you can make the strings that you are tidying on the back so that doesn't have to be even elastic and that way you you can protect yourself you can make the mask you can wash them and then i will put them in the freezer after washing when it's dry in the freezer i will keep them in the freezer whenever i need to go i will spray with the uh, alcohol <laughs> well the policeman might stop me and he will ask me can i if i was drinking i will say no uh, well yes i was drinking with the chinese guy and italian do you want me to blow and he will tell me probably to go <laughs> but that's a joke we have to joke don't lose your sense of humor because uh, that is so important to have a to laugh at least from the small stuff so any of you ladies who knows how to sew you can do it on the sewing machine or even by hand i thought well in the worst scenario i have my mother-in-law beautiful wedding dress it never was my style and i never was brave enough to sew it at the store but she made that dress out of parachute so the dress is 70 years old and she used the parachute and i think silk is really good for it's quite high number of threads so i think that will be something that if i will have to do it i might use it because at least it will be usable for something i'm keeping that for <laughs> so many age like ages because everyone thinks that i love to preserve every historic thing and it is historic in our family another thing exercise your lungs i mentioned about the balloon but i forgot to tell you <laughs> one more thing you blow in the balloon as much as you can and then you count to 10 when you have the last one you know as much as you fulfill your balloon and then you are counting one two and by number 10 you will have explosion of cough and that's so good for for your lungs to exercise them so yeah exercise for lungs is so good i'm not a doctor i'm not trying to pretend but those little things sometimes they can make a difference so i feel obligated to help people okay and canada will be doing some the own um, ventilators so hopefully that will be another step forward we need more tests for sure again i'm reminding advil is bad for coronavirus Tylenol is good but Suzanne wrote me she is allergic to Tylenol and I mentioned that I'm allergic to Tylenol I don't know what I will I'm good. I will have to check what I can replace this and there is the shelves are empty so there is not too much to replace but uh, yes with me many years ago i came i went to a dentist and uh, in canada and he put me injection in poland they were never giving us injections because somehow they thought that we are strong people that whatever they were doing in our mouth we have to handle and in canada he gave me injection because there was a little <laughs> need of replace uh, repairing little hole and i woke up and i was on the ventilator or inspirator whatever so he said whoops looks like you are allergic to the, the something that seduce your pain and he figured out that that was tylenol so to this day he is not using any 
painkillers on me when I'm going to the to do work, which is painful, but I'm just counting every moment. Like he said, half an hour. So <laughs> go backwards. And you can program yourself. So it's not impossible to, to hypnotize yourself for the pain. And I survived so many years. And apparently, the, the, vet, the, the hygiene is, she's, when I ask her how many years I have to hold my teeth, she said, probably 20 more. So I might not live that long, but <laughs> at least I will go with a good smile to another side. Um, and I had the feeling about William Barr. We know that he is called to testify in the Congr Congress on March 31st. I had the feeling that he will be claiming that he is on quarantine, so he will not be there. But Congress will be eventually on quarantine, Senate will be on quarantine, and I will start answering the questions. Jay Solis, Solis, how is the pandemic going to affect the immigrant population hold in uh, lockup? And I saw a lotus flower. When the lotus flower is closed, you don't know how big it is until it was opened. Uh, and when the pandemic will hit there, it will be horrific. We will see how many people will be affected and it might be something that we have to pray for those children, for those people who are on lookout. Because it, it is scary. And even those homeless people, when they are picking up the, the rest of the cigarettes, how easy for them is to be affected, infected. I don't know if that will be possible to stop, because those people are not leaving even, with, they don't know about the news, what's going on. They are living in that survival mood and that can be horrific so we have to pray for everyone who is affected who will be affected and hopefully somehow they will find the cure soon Martha, do you see any politician losing their life over the virus I just saw one, and it will be all the men with gray hair. But I, I don't know who that person is. So I don't know who, who he will be, and that, not, this one is better. Marta Dufo, she was asking me before a lot of questions. If Biden's, Biden wins, will the Sanders voters vote for Biden? And as an answer, I saw, yes, they will be kind of making this way, that way, but eventually all of them will go one direction and they will choose to go because they don't want Trump to be any more president. 277. When Trump and his family will be out of office. And I saw a thriller from Mike, ja um, Mike Jackson. You remember when those ghosts were coming out of the ground and grabbing? So when the ghosts from his closet will start coming out and scary, it will be scary for every Republican and every one around Trump, they will probably run away. And that might be something that uh, in uh, June, when people will get the taxes from Trump, that will be great. I will pull a few cards for that because it's something that I want to know more. And we still have very cold weather. Last night was minus 18 in Alberta. No fun. 
Well, during the day it's minus five and it's very sunny, so you don't feel bad, but it's okay. When Trump will be out of the office. The world will learn so many secrets about him. Those black ghosts here will be telling us all the stories that he doesn't want the world to know. And no one is no one else is touching. And about his happy family. So we will know not only about him and the Kushner is apparently making money his brother is making money about uh, about uh, related to coronavirus because he is uh, um, making some insurance money on people so yeah they were cheating we will learn how much they were cheating Trump and his family. So, and they will be walking on the sticks, trying to avoid everything. Last card, come on, tell me, tell me. Yeah, everything will come to the light and we will learn the secret, the moon, from darkness to light. Everyone will know what is going on and they will have to run for the life. There will be no Thank you, cards. There will be no place for them to hide. And the thriller from Mike Jackson. You remember the first, the, the really long one, the, the longest thriller. And the video, a kind of new thing. That was so good and scary. I know. Honestly, I was scared that time when I was watching. Heather Peck. Do you think it's safe to go outside? Yes, it's safe, but you have to keep feet six feet away from everyone. When you're going with the dogs, it will be best if you can go for a walk in the morning when there is not that many traffic. The air is much heavier because it's usually much colder in the morning. So, because the Apparently that bark can be s sitting on the air for a while. So you don't want this to come to the dog's hair and then you are brushing, touching them and you are making this to your mouth. I don't think that that's even possible, but try to go as soon as possible and don't take the children to the playground where they will be touching monkey bars or something like that. Keep uh, alcohol spray and wash the hands a few times even during the day because children will touch everything. Okay. When uh, uh, Jay Solis, when pandemic will be over, what uh, positive outcome will have will come to America. And I added Canada too. And I saw a planting, like planting tree, planting factories. I think eventually we will start thinking, do locally, do local stuff. Don't always depend on other countries because when the borders are closed, you feel vulnerable. So eventually something good has to come out of it and people will start thinking we have to be prepared for black time, for black hour and it's better if the money, uh, if something is even more expensive but it's produced in over here than somewhere else. And it will be healthier for environment. Not that many ships has to come from China with the stuff. So eventually uh, that will be a good outcome. A lot of people will survive. It's just, it is scary right now. We have to be worried and be prepared. And the last question. Sitia Woodburn. Woodburn. 
how is the virus affecting Russia? And I think they are keeping everything so secretive. Like they shutter the, the uh, blinds. They don't want us to know. There was only inf information that there was 45 few days ago. Um, but they did so good by controlling the situation. How did they do it? If Trump, when he had only 15 cases, will do that, all of us might be much better today than we are now, because it was still enough time to, to do something about this. We knew it was tragic in uh, Mohan, but and how it's affecting Russia. They are on the safe side. They still have the angel of security watching over them. The sun is shining on them. Still. Yeah, they are controlling the situation. They are independent. They are giving a good sample how you can control everything to be on a chariot, to have everyone on a leash. Well, would that get out? They will still have a good harvest so far. Who knows how my, you know, how that will affect in the future because people will be traveling. I know a lot of Ukrainians love to go to Italy. So that has to be making them for right now, Russians are on a safe side. We can't see anything because they put the blinds and they isolated themselves. So yes, they, they know how to control them, everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being with me. I feel like I'm so glad that I have you. Today um, I was not working and I felt like, oh my gosh, tomorrow I'm not going to work. I'm feeling so bad, but we have to be organized and we have to stand up, all of us, to, to close. The, the schools are closed and we have to be with the rest of the country and close the stores. And so we did. And it's beneficial for us and for everyone so the mountain is not going too high. Uh, our friends, they are expecting a baby, my son's friends. And she was called two weeks prior to do the delivery. So because they think in two weeks there will be more beds needed. So they want to make everyone coming two weeks before the, the due, uh, date. So there will be not that many people unnecessarily in the hospital. I went to the lab in the hospital last Monday with my husband. We went to the lab and no one was wearing masks, but they were asking us questions if we have fever, if we travel, blah, blah, blah. But they, no one was wearing any masks, just the gloves, the nurse who was taking blood. So there is no panic yet in our, in, in our Red Deer, but I think that I thought well better if we will go to do the blood test now instead of the next week, because uh, it might grow. Like a few days ago we had 50, 46 cases, now we have 145 in Alberta. So the, the, the numbers are growing. And you know how it is in USA. The beginning of the month was hundred cases under hundred, and now you have thirteen thousand, over thirteen thousand. So nineteen days, and it's going high. Okay, we have to pray for everyone. Don't worry, you will survive. I will be with you. I will be with me. We will be strong and we will survive. Just avoid any contacts if you can. And if any ladies can do some masks for yourself, for your family, that will keep you busy, occupied. And some of you who don't have a sewing machine, it's not that much to sew. And you can do a few masks here and there and be proud that you have 
some nice designs on your mask. You can use old pillowcases. You can use so many different fabrics to create some nice masks. Remember, like tw 30 years ago, there was no those blue ones and every nurse had that the made out of some cotton. So it was normal. So they were washing them and reusing. I think if you will put boiling water on your mask uh, and wash it, then you have reasonable, reasonable good mask, but make few layers so you can breathe and I'm not expert, but everything is possible to duplicate. China was duplicating everyone. Now they came with the original illness and now we can't duplicate the, the vaccine for it. That's just thinking. Okay, thank you so much. Take care of yourself and whoever wants to see me for the reading. It will have to be only on the YouTube, uh, on the Skype or telephone because otherwise I'm not available anymore at the store. Bye bye. Thank you.